Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And as you can see, we have a fully functioning loop of track running right now. And that little 242 is noisy. But as you can see, my two boys have got their train cars going. I did put the slope back tender on it just for fun from the other 242, which the other one is stuck in reverse. Uh, hang on, here it comes. <laughs> hey, we seem to have an issue with one of the Menards cars. <laughs> they keep popping the cup loose. That is funny. I don't know how to stop that little noise that it keeps making. But uh, it's not doing it all the time, so I'm thinking it may be just brushes that need to be replaced on it. Uh, I'm not really sure. Didn't you just get new wheels? Uh, no. The other one's stuck in reverse. Oh. <laughs> and there's no way to get the motor apart to get to the E unit. What if you had them both running on different sides? Which one do you think would win? I thought about putting the cab on it backwards just as they could cab forward. <laughs> that is a good idea. It just couldn't go in the bus. Right? Yeah. Hey, it sped up. What the? Maybe the more you run it, the better it will get. Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking because it's speeding up right now. Okay. Um, well, uh, the little 242 is speeding like crazy right now. It slowed down and then speed up again. Alrighty. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it, it's, uh, the more it runs, the fast, the more it's speeding up. It's getting stuck on the pickup thing. Yeah, you keep running into it and bumping it back. <laughs> I know it is. Kind of funny. <laughs> we got a runaway rail yeah. car. I snatched it. <laughs> It's kind of cool, though, that uh, Catnapper picked out a semi-scale gondola. And it actually looks pretty good running down the rails. Well, we'll do some more test running and some more playing around and uh, see what else we come up with. And hopefully... Uh, here in the next month or so, uh, Ron from Classic Model Trains will be able to uh, have my steam turbine repaired and have it back home, and we'll be running it before long. And I've still got the f &M excursion train I'm working on, so we got another car that will be coming to the track here real soon, a 1950s O-scale scratch built, uh, and some other ones. So we're going to be some, doing some test running on some cars tonight, and... Probably be seeing multiple videos here in a little bit. So, y'all take it easy and keep the shiny side up, and I will see you in the next video here shortly. There's a big part.